looking forward to the puns. <laughs> oh, just you wait. Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome to Amsterdam. I've been so happy to be here. I had some passport trouble getting here, so I'm really happy to have landed and made it here to be with all of you. So as I've gotten to explore Amsterdam and check out this absolutely beautiful city, I've gotten to see tulips. I've gotten to talk about terabytes in transformations with so many folks. While it's been wonderful, there is something that's a little personal and wanted to be vulnerable with all of you. It's actually something that's really difficult for me to share, but I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Yeah, I've gotten some feedback with previous keynotes and presentations that I've given. People have been upset with the amount of puns per slide. So if you know me, you know that I couldn't leaf well enough alone. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jeff, just you wait. Plus, it's feedback that I'm sure stems from a good place. You know, once upon a time, I had a friend invite me to a gardening club, but I ended up passing on the opportunity because I didn't want to soil my reputation. See, I managed to pick a few winners, didn't want to leave anything good there on the vine. Our open source community is much like a garden. We need different amounts of water and sunshine and nutrients to grow. Having a great music streaming playlist also helps quite a bit too. So what have we produced these fruits of our labor as it pertains to the end user community within CNCF? So the end user community users are my favorites. It's the goal of our end user program to connect and empower organizations to collaborate, to share best practices, and drive adoption of cloud native technologies through engagement within our CNCF community. We, it takes much more to grow as a community than to grow just on your own. Our CNCF end user community consists of many aspects, like the grains here in this hourglass. There's so many ideas, there's so many things going on. And you'll notice that this hourglass has a bottleneck like many organizations do, all organizations, honestly. But that's not a bug, that's a feature. There's so many things going on, you can't focus on all of them at once. And this would be pretty useless, right? It would just be a jar of sand and glass, that'd be useless, it wouldn't be helpful. Speaking of hourglasses, end users are short on time as well. They have their feet in both camps in trying to keep up to date with everything that's going on as well as running their business. It's truly having two jobs at once and that's why this program exists. I'm here to help save you time, that's my goal. So what's available to help when it comes to saving time? Let's walk through that. So I'd like to introduce our end user newsletter, Wisdom of the Cloud, I told you there'd be puns. And this is a QR code, it's not a menu, but it is food for thought. I definitely recommend that you check out this newsletter. It's freshly refurbished. It is our oops, all end user newsletter. Couldn't get Crunchberry's licensing thing. It contains an ecosystem pulse to kind of cut through the noise and let you know what's going on and then do some deep technical deep dives as well. I'm looking to save you time, and, but I did put one article in our most recent edition that's a 60 minute read, but it goes deep into OpenAI and ChatGPT, how that works and how you can leverage that within your organization. We also go behind the scenes talking about people and processes, how you can actually adapt things within your teams and your organizations. And we have hand-picked highlights as well. So really looking forward to sharing more with you. There's gonna be lots of news to sift through after this week, no doubt. Question, do you think that if tulips could talk, they would say we're rooting for you? I do. So you might've noticed that our ticket situation was a little bit different this KubeCon as well. And I've got some really exciting news for end user members. You might have noticed that we have regular KubeCon tickets now and all access tickets. The all access tickets get you into our co-located events, which happened yesterday. That's events like ArgoCon or CiliumCon, where you can come and learn about a specific tool or technology workflow, etc. We want our end users to feel more involved, feel more welcome as it because again, it takes a lot to come up to speed with these technologies. And as our project count grows, there's a lot to keep up on. 
So end users get two, five, and 10 tickets with their membership, depending on what level that they get. And I'm very excited to announce with all of you today that end users will now get all access tickets with your membership for KubeCon. So really excited to share that with all of you and to see you at our co-located events. That's the ticket, clearly. We continue our CTO Summit series here at KubeCon, and we just recently launched our report from our previous KubeCon where we took a look at the foundations of cloud native maturity. How do you actually tell when things are done and complete? It's an art. It really is difficult. I'd like to thank our Carter Grafos group who was able to help us out with this as well in helping bucket size and figure out what was going on with the different tools and technologies. And they even created, created a microsite to be able to help out with identifying this process as well. So very, a huge thank you to that group. Definitely recommend that you check that out and read that report. There's so many great insights. This time, in Amsterdam, we're going to be diving into FinOps and what it takes to build a culture of cost optimization and mindfulness within your stacks. So that is happening tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's fully booked up. So the link I've shared here today is to sign up and apply to attend our event in Chicago. So definitely recommend that you apply today. We prioritize end users and really want to have a conversation with them. Uh, there's limited spots, so please, please, please apply. It's going to be a great time, and we'll let you know what topic our committee ends up selecting on that front. So as I've met a, a whole bunch of folks, CTOs, and made new friends within Cloud Native, uh, one of my friends was actually trying uh, their hand at a new business. They tried growing a server farm, but ironically, they couldn't raise any seed funding. <laughs> One other really interesting thing that uh, getting settled into my role and taking a look at all of the data that we have on GitHub and within our discussions and other forms of interaction are, where are end users spending their time? Where are end users interested enough in projects to actually dive deep to make a contribution, whether that be code, documentation, discussion, and interaction? So looking at dev stats, I was able to take a look at this and see which projects were of interest to end users, which is fascinating. I'm trying to save you time. You don't have to dig through the data. Uh, happy to enumerate that. But this only answers half of, a question, half of a question that I had, and that's what and which projects are actually being used. And I'd love your help with solving that other part of that question, which is why? How do these things fit together? I'm opening up a survey today that's going to run through the end of May, and I really do want to hear from you around which projects are you interested in and what kinds of trends or patterns are you seeing within the community. It's difficult to capture these as we erupt into conversation about what's next and how we utilize these tools together. So I would love your help on this front. Please share far and wide on this. And uh, yeah, we'd really like to hear from you, honestly. So I hope that you've enjoyed the insights and the puns. And if you didn't, who knows? Maybe they'll grow on you. So I could talk about end users all day, but unfortunately, Cody won't let me stay up here for the next few hours. So I would like to enter into a new session with some end users directly and hear right from them. Uh, this is our cappuccino section, because the more you know, the more you can grow. And uh, yeah, come on into our Cloud Native Cafe. I'd like to uh, have some end users join us here on stage, and we'll dive in a little bit deeper with them. Please come up.